Welcome to DIY Easy Crafts. Today we're going to take a look at how to uh, make a cast resin checkers board using a tin mold. Now I found this tin uh, serving platter at the local dollar store for about $1.50. I've made, actually this is my third Chinese checkers board. Um, the first one was about 18 inches, just a little bit too big. Um, the, the second one was 12 inches, a little bit too small. Uh, hopefully this one will be perfect. This is right in the, about the 14 inch range. I used a mold release spray um, and then I started to pour in Total Boat Thick Set Resin. I dyed it uh, blue and I used a couple of different shades of blue and a couple of uh, different shades of green. I want to make a nautical themed uh, Chinese checkers board uh, for my son in this case. Now my concern was I've never, you know, attempted to make this in a tin foil mold. The, the, the big mold that I bought, bought was a hundred dollar mold and, and this is a dollar fifty. Uh, anyway, I used a hair dryer to just mix uh, the colors up a little bit. And when I was happy with that, and notice I didn't fill up that pan all the way. This is just a very thin uh, coating at the bottom. So when I was happy with that, I let this dry uh, completely. I actually let it sit for about two days. After that, I used a, a Kraft vinyl cutting machine. Uh, I have a Silhouette Cameo. I believe the Cricut would do the exact same thing. And I cut out self-adhesive vinyl in the shapes of marine life. I use sharks and dolphins and sea turtles and uh, tuna, etc. Um, I laid a template of the Chinese checkers board pattern um, just in paper. And I, I placed these creatures, sea creatures, around that so that, so that I wasn't going to be covering them up uh, or drilling through them when I drilled the holes for the for the marbles. Now for the center of the board, I just used a little bit of netting that I found down at the local uh, arts and crafts uh, store, Michaels, uh, with some uh, starfish and I eventually uh, threw some uh, shark teeth in there as well. Then I mixed up another batch of this Total Boat Thick Set Resin. Actually, absolutely love this stuff. Uh, it's a really cool resin to work with. It's very thin and has a very long cure time. And, and the benefit of that is that it allows any bubbles uh, that are in the mixture to rise to the surface and dissipate before the resin hardens. And it, it, does, it does that without the use of a pressure pot. So it's really perfect for, the, for this type of project. Um, couple of pourings, but I filled it basically up to the top of that pan. And then I let this set for about five days before I uh, even attempted to remove it. I really wasn't sure how hard uh, it was going to be to get it out, um, but it popped right off very, very easily. Now, I don't know if that's just, you know, a factor of the tin or if it was just because of the mold release, but I'm very happy with it. Uh, this particular pan kind of tapered downward. Um, so it left these really sharp edges and plus the table that I had put this on must not have been level because uh, it's, it had a wider area on one side and a thinner area on the other. So I rounded it, or I, I'm sorry, I ground it a little bit just on a belt sander. I have a, a freestanding belt sander. Just to kind of make that edge not so sharp. And then I just used an oscillating sander uh, with a... Uh, 220 grit paper and I just kind of rounded over the edge and frosted it and I was real careful not to touch uh, the top surface at all so I, I don't have to repolish that top at all. I taped that uh, template back in place that's going to be the pattern for my holes uh, just with some scotch tape and then I'm using a router with a quarter inch diameter bit. I've already preset the depth on this and I just very carefully Go to each one of those dots and plunge a hole. Now this process does take a little bit of time. You do have to be real careful. You make sure you, you pick that uh, bit completely up before you, you drag it over to the next hole. But it, it wasn't hard at all. It just takes a little bit of time. Once all the holes are drilled, just a matter of, re of removing that template, I'll clean it up with a little Windex 
get some rid of some of the dust. But this is the finished product. So this is a, a nautical marine life uh, themed Chinese checkers board. And the neat thing is that it was not cast in a $200 or $100 mold. It was cast in a $1.50 mold um, that I found down at the local dollar store. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I would absolutely love it if you left me some feedback in the comments section. I'd like to give you an invite to check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Thank you very much for watching.